got a whole solar setup from a company called Lightime or Lead Time. We have two 100 watt batteries, lithium batteries. We have a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter with the remote control, a 30 amp solar charger controller, and additional cables. So I will attempt to do this install with a sling because I injured my shoulder a week or so ago. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's got to get done, so we're going to try and get this done. Uh, the hardest thing for me is going to be putting up the solar pan panels up on the roof, but um, it's not that high up. I should be able to do it. So let's open these up and see what we have. I built this out of two by fours, scrap two by fours that I had, screwed them together. I left the middle one a little longer because that will screw into the studs. This is a temporary install that I am doing. Eventually this will be remounted underneath the kitchen cabinet. There you go. Everything comes with a manual, so it's very easy to follow. Just follow the instructions, and it tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. So that's ready to be mounted. So everything is included, all the cables as well. It snaps on right in right here at the bottom and it connects to the inverter right here. This screws right off right here. Positive and negative. Red for positive, black for negative. This battery on that end, inverter on this end, so we put that into the side of the inverter. You gotta take that nut off and tighten it back down to secure it. And then the same with the negative. It's labeled battery on one side and inverter on the other, so you put the inverter side on the inverter it's pretty straightforward positive negative going to the battery so that's why they don't make these very long for a better connection so you don't lose power by having too long of a wire and so that's why they make them short but I need to mount this down at the bottom so that I can connect these to the battery. Positive and negative. And these here go to the solar panels. Oh, it's in there good. There we go. Positive, negative. So we're going to the battery. Right here. Might as well just go ahead and connect the solar panel as well. So I don't have to crawl later. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. There. So, we have all of this ready to go. Everything is mounted and ready to go. The only other thing is I didn't do is I did not place fuses in between my lines because this is a very small setup. If I was doing a larger system than solar system, then definitely I would use uh, like 50 amp, amp fuses or something like that. But um, 30, 50 amp, depending. But uh, this right here doesn't really need to require it because it's a very, very small system. Uh, but when I do plan on the future to expand this and add more batteries and more solar and maybe even upgrade my uh, inverter because this is only a thousand watts um, and this is a 30 amp it might be enough I could probably go to like a 3000 watt inverter eventually something like that but um, I think we're good for now for what I need to do this is a very tiny cabin so I think this will work out just fine I have my cables here for my solar is gonna go I'm gonna to have to get up there with the ladder and do that and then connect my batteries right here okay so I have two 100 watt solar panels up here and they're connected together through here something to raise up those batteries I know now I know they'll reach now I know they will reach right here all right I get my batteries over here Everything should reach fine. This will go here with this one. raising everything up higher. That's good there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Minor thing here. Just switch it over. That's fine. This one. How can you go wrong? Red with red, black with black. Can't go wrong. An eight year old could do this.
Yeah. It's a little, it's barely making it, but um, we'll see. I might have to get some bigger wires, longer wires rather. So I rewired the solder panels. I have the two negatives coming from the two panels together, split into one. And the same with the positives. I took the two positives and split them into one. Fortunately, I did buy these and it should work. I'm going to try it this way now. It should have worked the other way, but it said it had reverse polarities, which it did. So we're, now we're going to try it this way. All we should have to do is plug those in and pray it works. dummy like me and still do a solar install see all right let's turn the batteries back on Still flashing. Huh. All right, guys. I plugged in my compressor right here. Let me see if I can get some light and show you. I plugged in my compressor right here, and I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. So it just cut off and it looks like it went down one bar on the battery so that's good because this compressor takes up quite a bit of electricity not entirely sure how much but everything seems like it's working great everything's charging everything's steady uh, probably we'll get more once I upgrade to the bigger uh, solar panels but it's working exciting and literally within like two minutes, the battery is fully charged once again. It looks like there are 1.2 amps coming in from the solar panel right now. It is producing four watt hours. Now to set up the app, you can scan that barcode right there. Um, or go to Google Play or the App Store on Apple and you can get the app. Once you have the app, um, it wouldn't let me scan the barcode, so I'm not really sure what uh, what that is about, but uh, I'm going to put off-grid cabin, system name. Yeah, this is more customization. I'm not going to worry about that right now, and just back out of here. Oops. Um, so, but you can see that the two batteries are right here. You can click on it and it'll tell you the status, how much power is on there, um, the temperature of the battery, the cells, it says it's normal, the BMS is normal, the balance is balanced. So we are good to go. If you have more batteries, you can add, expand it and add a multitude of batteries. It's just connecting everything by Bluetooth. So there you go. They're both at 47%. So with the two solar panels and a cloudy day, it totally, completely cloudy, overcast and rainy, uh, it's not going to charge very much at all.
and I'm surrounded by trees as well back here okay so that's it that's what I wanted to show you guys green light on the batteries green light on the uh, solar panels solid means it's working uh, I could hook up a light here if I wanted to and it would um, run a, an, an additional 12 volt light but basically what this system is doing is converting DC coming from the solar panels into AC through the solar inverter so that you can uh, plug in your it has three outlets right here already built into the inverter so you can plug in a refrigerator anything of that sort a stove uh, but I am planning on putting a power strip so that I can expand it and extend it and run power whatever I need it but uh, yeah this is uh, pretty great I'm very glad and grateful for the company for sending these to me this is absolutely amazing it's life-changing I'll be able to have power here and run all of my equipment and my lights without worries and so thank you to lead time lifetime I'm not entirely sure how they like to have it pronounced but uh, it's a uh, it's a very nice looking product the batteries are not excessively heavy and they perform very well and uh, this company has been around for a long time and is uh, renowned globally for their quality of products okay so check them out guys I leave a link in the description if you're interested I uh, will do an updated video, follow-up video on this setup at a later time. I'm planning of also expanding it and adding additional batteries and, and solar panels. So stay tuned for that. Like I mentioned, we only have 200 watts going right now. They recommend 400 for this particular setup. So uh, I will be upgrading that very shortly. So. Keep that in mind, Mark, um, set your notification bell so you can be notified when that video comes out. All right, guys, I'm glad I got it figured out. I got everything working. Everything is green, no red lights, nothing red flashing. So I'm happy about that. And uh, this is a great setup, guys. This is really, really nice. And I'm very, very pleased with the way it turned out. The manuals are very descriptive. You'll be able to follow very easily it's connecting red with red and black with black, I'm literally. It's all it really there is to it. And um, some additional cables that might be required for the install, but other than that, I will have a video coming out soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.